Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Admin Server Tutorials or Bucket Spigot Plugin Tutorials. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Please leave a like if you do because that helps me out for helping you guys out. This is Max Bands made by Netherfoam, Fabio Zuby 12, Iverson 0, Joe Hot 200. So what this pl plugin does is obviously it is a band plugin. It is supported right now up to 1.11, but in this tutorial, I'm running 1.12.2 and it seems to be working fine without any error messages. So take that as you will. Let's talk about permissions before we even start talking about commands. Uh, you basically, the basic ones is max, maxbands.command name. So you'd be giving these to your admins or moderators, that kind of stuff. You got maxbands.kick.star, maxbands.notify. Then maybe you want to give this to your, your users, maxbands.checkband.self, so they can check their own stuff uh, when they're running around on the server. You also have maxbands.c broadcast so they can see broadcast stuff. Then you maxbands.c silent. Actually, that's probably the one for seeing silent commands. And then you have dot, dot lockdown dot bypass. You could actually lock down your server with this plugin. And if anybody has that, they can still join the server. And then lockdown.use allows you to lock down the server. So let's talk about some commands. Obviously, you have ban and then uh, username. So you're going to evil doppelgamer and then a reason. So that's going to give them a reason it's going to show up once they ba get banned so there you go they're gone and then it says it actually tells them who bans them and the message and then where you can actually do a ban appeal which you set that in the configuration so then they know where they can go to appeal the ban so we're going to go ahead and unban paste now he can come back in so we're going to reconnect here and there he is. So we got that on max ban on ban. You also have a IP ban. So if they have multiple accounts, you can just ban where they're joining from so that you can actually, in order to start that, you do check IP. And uh, that's actually going to be, you know, that's a local IP address because we're all on the same server of where this is going. Uh, and then you can do IP ban, same, same uh, layout there. And then you can also do a mute evil uh for tutorial with a reason as well so muted uh evil double gamer four and then you can put the reasons in there which is great now in the configuration as well you can also configure uh what kind of commands also get blocked so by default like me and say get blocked you can you can block messages or if you have other plugins that they can still use when muted to be annoying you can put those in the list and this plugin will actually stop all of those from running as well which is really cool so we're going to unmute uh evil doppelgamer Another thing you can do is you can turn off chat or, or turn it back on, which is really cool. So toggle chat. Now uh, all players are muted, and then we can unmute that. Then you can also do dupe IP, which is really cool. So you, you can look at a player and see what other people are on that IP address. So we have Evil Dapa Gamer. He's banned, although I think he's technically unbanned. And then obviously my name. So that's pretty cool. So you can see what accounts maybe are linked brother sister or brothers or all that stuff you can warn somebody which is really cool oh you got to do a reason reason and uh oh, okay so he got he had too many warnings so let's see if he can reconnect interesting i did not know that it did that we'll have to take a look at the config i'm sure you can set it up in there so then you can unwarn you can clear warnings so you do unwarn and then username and that will remove the last warning or uh, you can do clear warnings and then their user and it'll actually remove everything so what we want to do is we want to check out the history history for evil doppelgamer oh it doesn't auto complete doppelgamer now you can see all of the things that has happened and when they how long ago they happened so 38 seconds ago so we've had three warnings i believe and then a third warning it kicks them it probably it doesn't ban them it just kicks them which is really cool you also have some temporary commands so you have a temp ban temp ip ban temp mute all that stuff so we can do temp uh mute or let's do temp ban evil doppelgamer and then uh, we'll do 
one, one minute, uh, one minute ban. There we go. So attempt ban evil doppelganger for one minute for, and then the reason. So then he gets expires in one minute, uh, and then that ban appeal link and all that stuff. So that's that's really cool that they have that stuff. So if they try to reconnect, it it updates and it tells how long they have before they can come back. Another use case of this is maybe you want to lock down the server, something's going on, or you just want to lock it down because you need to do work on it. The first thing you can do is lock down. Now, nobody can uh, rejoin. So you can do lockdown by default as maintenance for tutorial. So if you put a reason in there, then it gives a reason. You can even put a lot of stuff in there. And then if you do lockdown again, it disables it. And then you can do kick star and this will kick everybody off the server, even yourself, because I did not have the bypass of that. And then I can, I can actually rejoin, but doppelgamer cannot because. So when you do the kick star, you probably want to put in there a reason otherwise it defaults to misconduct and then you can also import if you've been running without max bands but you've been running the local minecraft ones you can do mb import to import all of your existing band information all that stuff and you can do mb export to export all that information in order to, to run it on the normal stuff you can also do some range banning so you can do range ban and then first ip second ip and then a reason it'll ban everybody in that ip range um, or temp range ban is the other command. So let's take a look at config real quick to wrap this all up. So obviously we're running 1.12.2 as of 11.3 was last time. You can kind of hop into plugins here and then you're gonna run your max bands jar file in here. It's gonna create this folder. If it does not create that folder, it's because it failed. Check your console to figure out why it failed. So let's jump over to the config. Uh, you have your messages so you can custom code, color code all your messages, which is really cool. And we're going to jump into the config. So here we are in the config, pretty straightforward, uh, not really needing to explain anything. You have your warnings. Okay, so after two warnings, you get a final warning, and which is a kick. And after three warnings, you get a temp ban. Now it expires in minutes, so if they, you can change that to like some sort of like whatever 24 hours is a minute. So if they get those three warnings within 24 hours, then it goes to temp ban. Um, and then at maximum of three warnings, um, which is really cool. Here's your diff default reason. And then you have your appeal message. So you can check in there and go, Hey, go to our forum to, and start up, fill out a form to get your ban appeal going. You got some color codes. Here's where I was talking about those chat commands, those custom chat commands that will be blocked during a mute, which is really cool. And then in here is a lot of bungee stuff. So you can set this to true and you can actually sync. You can have a master database that a server runs from and then everything else points at that database and syncs up to it. So you can have a bungee network that all looks at a one database and then, um, so your bands sync across your whole network. So that's about it. There's some really cool things about this. Go ahead and check out the author's website because there's some other cool stuff where somebody created a PHP website that ties into Max Band. So you can show all of this information on a website if you point it at the database, if you're running in an open database. Other than that, pretty standard stuff, but there's some really cool like nuances of this plugin. Uh, I hope you get, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please let me know what you guys are thinking and leave a like. This is Cos reminding you guys all enjoy the game. God bless.